Welcome to the Pompeii Gladiator Games. I'm Owen McGrath. And I'm Oliver Antone. It's a beautiful day here in 59 AD from Pompeii. It is. We'll begin with the Sacramentum Gladiorum, or the Gladiator's Sacred Oath. All right, please rise. Ori vinciri, verberari feraque nacari. To endure burning, bondage, flogging, and death by the sword. Oh, I have to say, the celebrities out there are looking great for the Pompeians. They are. We've got all sorts of new Syrians here representing the white team, as you can see, in oh. our white garbs. Well, I have to say, I will be going for my hometown of Pompeii. Uh, I think Saladus, uh, the Thrax out there, though, he's going to he's going to really be powerful. You know, we won't see any Equestrius mm -hmm. out there, but we'll see many, many men with swords. With that... Oh, yes. We'll have to take a, a juvenile statement fr about the Gladiator Games. All right. This is from a juvenile here in Pompeii. And this is what he says about the Gladiator Games. Eam pridem ex quo suffragia nulli vendimus effudi coras. Now that no one buys or votes, the public has long since cast off its cares. Nam qui dabat olim imperium faces legions. Omnia nunc se continent, atque duas tantum res anxius optat. The people that once bestowed commands, countrieships, legions, and all else, now meddles no more, and longs eagerly for just two things. Penum et sincerces. Did you say Penum? That reminds me of Suzanne Collins' Hunger Games, which was based off of the Gladiator Games in Rome and Pompeii. Suzanne Collins? Who's that? I don't know. Because Panem et Circenses stands for Bread and Games. You know, it's funny that you mentioned Bread and Games because we had the Pompeian politicians out front handing out bread before the matchup, hmm. like a lot of politicians do to get our votes. See, at the new Syrian food stands, as you can see, we handed out not only bread, but wine as well. Ah, uh, well, you see, maybe the new Syrians will... We'll get the votes then. I and, hope we will. And the support. But let's go into the amphitheater, shall we? Let's take a look. Here we go. We have just a beautiful fight going on in here. Let's take a closer closer look, shall we? There we go. All right. So as you can see, we've got the people fighting. As you can see, the person in the middle there in the white obviously has a sword representing the white team about to take your... Pompeian down. Well, I believe that the Pompeians can pull out of this. Plus, it looks like our ref there in the back is not too happy with the way he's, he's well, the, playing. As you can see, the ref is the one on the far right holding his Summa Rudius, also known as a long staff. And this was the common common signature uh, thing that, sh that uh, showed you who the ref was separate from the players. Well... My goodness, it looks like we, we have a fight breaking out here in it Pompeii. It does. It looks like they're starting to throw rocks. This is unbelievable here. It seems we can see a lot of Pompeians on the ground, a few new scenes, and unbelievable there in the back. Someone's pulled out a dagger. Wow. This is unbelievable. What's going on on the other side? They're it's, also throwing some rocks. It looks like the guy down there in the laying on the ground he's, doesn't he's, look too good. He's not having a... A good time out there. Doesn't look like he's gonna make it. No, no, it does not. And oh, I'm I'm getting word that uh, Emperor Nero just placed a ten-year ban on the Gladiator Games due to this riot. This is, this is how this is. This will really damage our economy. This is gonna hurt them. This this puts the people in their place though, and that's that's. that's they as for it should sure be. need to learn this lesson. Well. In, in 10 long years, we will we'll be sure to be back in 69 A.D. Most definitely, and I, hopefully we should be back as well in 79, unless uh. we have another, unless there's another riot before then. <laughs> uh, but I'm Oliver Antone. And I'm Owen McGrath, and we're Latin students from Pope John Paul II High School. Thank you for watching.